Hi, I'm Elmas from Supervisly team. Today we will learn how to use multi-view image annotation in Supervisly. Let's get started. But before we dive in, let's understand what multi-view image annotation is. It is a technique to annotate a collection of images captured from different viewpoints or cameras. Multi-view image annotations provide more detailed information about the objects, enhancing the performance of computer vision models. This technique finds application in various industries, including 3D reconstruction, autonomic vehicles, medicine, insurance, 3D mapping, and more. To illustrate the concept, let's consider a use case in the car insurance industry. In my dataset, I have four folders, each containing a different number of images. I have multi-view images of cars captured from different perspectives. And my goal is to annotate all cars and their parts. To begin, we need to upload these multi-view images to Supervisly. I will use an import application, but you can also use our Python SDK and upload multi-view images with just a few lines of code. Link to the detailed instructions is in the description below. Let's create a new project and specify its name. One important step here is to select the multi-view images annotation option. It activates the multi-view mode for the entire project. With the project created, now we can upload our images. There are various import options available, such as drag and drop, cloud storage, agent folder, or team files. Let's use the drag and drop option. Once the import is complete, we can see that our project contains four groups of multi-view images according to the folders we uploaded. And we can switch between groups by clicking the right and left arrows. To understand how the multi-view mode works, let's navigate to the Images tab. Here we can observe that each image in group has the same value of the specific tag. This tagging system is crucial for multi-view mode. Now let's start annotating our images. We have a range of annotation tools including bounding box, polygon, brush and others. We will create a bounding box class for cars and annotate them. Of course, if you want to speed up the labeling process, you can utilize AI assistance. And now I will demonstrate how to use a smart tool for automatic annotation. My smart tool is already connected to the pre-trained segment anything model, but you can connect it to a other model or train your own model in Supervisly. Okay, let's create a new class for car parts such as wheels and easily annotate them with the smart tool. As you can see, the smart tool significantly accelerates the labeling process. Another valuable feature of multi-view mode is synchronized views. It enables easy panning, zooming, and of course, annotation across all images simultaneously can be particularly useful in tasks like depth estimation, as you can see, or multispectral imaging and others. Once the annotation process is complete, you can export your data in various formats, such as Supervisly, Coco, YOLO, and more. Let's export the data in Supervisly JSON format, which contains comprehensive information about the project, datasets, and annotations. You can import this data back to Supervisly at any time to continue working with it. That concludes our video on multiple image annotation in Supervisly. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, leave a like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.